I'm sorry, honey. She'll bring them right away. Mrs. Sertelot going. She's eating. If you want tortillas, go get them. What did you say? That I saw you with your other family. Hello, what help me? What did you fight with my god up lunch? My dad shows another- Benani! Don't make for it, please. Look, my love. This boy is Salem. He helped me carry the grocery bags because I couldn't them to come in alone. Where are the Gordivias? I told you that I don't like to eat without them. You are useless, Maria. I, I'm sorry, honey. She'll bring them right away. M M Melanie, go to the store for tortillas, okay? <sighs> My sister is not going. She's eating. Didn't you hear? In this household, women carry out my demands. If you want tortillas, go get them. What did you say, little shit? Stand up, quickly. Hush, don't hit him, please don't. Shut up, woman. Hurry up. I saw you the other day with your family. What did you say? That I slice you with your other family. Where did you see me? At the park. I saw you myself, Dad. You didn't see anything, did you feel me? So save it. Eat! Alan, what happened? What did you fight with my dad at lunch? I thought something very bad. A great blind? <sighs> my dad has another. Melanie! Get in the kitchen and make lunch or clean up or something. Quickly! I need to talk to your brother. I hope that you didn't go gossiping with your sister. What did you do with that? Why did you betray my mom? You don't have to come and ask me or judge me, you hear me? You respect me. I am your father. Besides, I know what to do with my life. Like having another family. Shut up! Boy, you were my hero with that! Yeah, I... I told you to forget about this, okay? And I hope no one else finds out... what you found out. Mom! I'm living! Son, please come. I need to talk to you. I know you and your dad have been having problems. I've heard that something very bang. Yes, son, I know. I know you don't like him talking to us the way he talks to us, but he's in charge of this house, and you have to be patient with him. Mom, you don't have to put up with that. Times have changed. Men are no longer in charge of the house. We all can have our say. You have to accept that, Lana that he works hard to maintain this home. The least we can do is help him with doing things around the house. It doesn't bother me that he treats me that way. I'm used to it. He just wants what's best for us. 
Go, so you don't be late. I'm coming, my love. I'm coming. Let me help you. Oh, thank you so much for helping me. You're very kind. Thank you. Are you okay? Hey? Uh, guess I'm fine, don't worry. Are you sure? Do you leave around here? If you want, we can call your parents. I'm good, don't worry. Everything's okay. Look, I live near here. I can't let you go like this. You're gonna faint. What do you say if you come with me to my house and I'll give you a glass of water? <laughs> yes? Great! Let's go. My love, I'm home. My love. My love, we were waiting for you. I, no. You're gorgeous. Where is my baby? How is Camila? Let me carry her. Hello, my love. How have you been? Look, honey, this boy is Alan. He helped me carry the grocery bags because I couldn't handle Camila alone. Have you talked to your parents? Yes, I talk, ma'am. They're on their way. Oh, that's good. I'm going upstairs to the bathroom. Can I trust Camila? Yes, my love. Excuse me? Yes, sure. So, she's my little sister. It's been years since I've seen you give my mom a kiss. Or address her as my love or harm me. Alan, I ordered you to get the hell out of here. I don't want you to do something stupid. Something stupid? Of course not, Dad. I'm actually very happy. I didn't have a little sister, let me hold her. <sighs> Look, Alan, I order you to get out of here immediately. And you'd better hope you haven't said anything to Mari. And bring your happiness. Of course not that. You live in this palace. For me, my sister, and my mother. You've got us living in that big but you go home. You're a bastard. Shut me. <sighs> All done. <sighs> Come here, baby. <laughs> Mrs. Mariling, thank you so much for shopping me. My dairies are here. No, thank you very much, dear. I hope you're feeling better now. Yes, trust me. The worst part is over. Mm, my love. <laughs> How did she behave oh, today? Oh, she missed you so my much. My princess. And the worst is she has a baby. Did you know how angry I was to see her? I shared everything the other day. What do you think that my dad be dead to my mom? I still don't know how to tell my mom. Maybe it's best if she doesn't even know about it. Warler, she has to know the truth. What truth are you talking about? Uh, it's nothing. Don't lie to me. I heard you talking about your father. And I have long told you not to fight with him. He loves us and always wants what's best for us. No mom, you don't understand. My dad has some... Yeah, I'm home. Hush, I'm so glad you're home. Alan was just about to tell us something about you. Oh, yeah. I was just telling him the other day I... I'd have a trip in a few days. We were sent out of town for a small congress. You've never been sent to any congress before. 
Nope, it's actually the first time for everyone in the company. I'm going to bring you your sandals to take off your boots. All right, Melanie. Well, from the look on your face, I think this gossipy girl has already told you everything. And what do you expect? You should at least have the courage to tell my mom. Never will she find out. Did you hear me? Remember that. And you, Melanie? I hope you don't believe anything your little brother says. No, Dad. I know you'd never do anything like that. That's right, my princess. You coming to get out of him? Ah, uh, then. I already told you that doesn't concern you, okay? So let me- Of course I care! Your cheating and my mama, she doesn't deserve me! Look, Alan, I don't know how to explain it to you. It just happened. So just forget it. If you leave, you don't come back. Because the moment you walk through that door, you're no longer my father. <sighs> Son, what are you doing up so early? Did you wake up to see your daddy up? Yes, ma'am. Something like that. Hush. Go bend carefully. Good luck to you. Thanks, Mari. See you soon. Hush. Who is that woman? Hush. Mari, please leave. Who are you and what do you want? Nothing special. I'm just here to meet my husband's family. Husband? Hush. What is this woman talking about? I don't know, Mary. I, I don't even know her. You don't know me, you son of a bitch? And you're gonna tell me you don't know your daughter either? Ever since your eldest son came to the house and you something was up? Live in this palace. And me, my sister, and my mother. You've got us living in that pig's for you go home. Sir. That's when I realized there was something wrong, so I decided to follow you. But I never imagined that you had another family. Another family? Gosh, we've been married for 20 years and I'm just hearing about this? Mary, please listen, I can explain, okay? Are you going to this queen guy? You're cheating on my mom and you also betrayed the. Melanie, you can't believe this. You are my little princess, yes? Your princess? There's your little princess. She was your only daughter. Because from no one, you ever no longer my dad. We were always your servant. We did by the way you ask us to. It this is how you play up. Uh, no, honey, please. Stop it, Hush. <laughs> put up with your abuse, your misogyny, and your deceptions, but not anymore. You're never to set foot in this health again, and I want you out of my life. And you know what, me too, except this is how you treat your children, when I kid you, I can hold you through your baby. Oh, three son, help me. Go away. Alan, help me. It's the cut thing you can do. Mom, sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I didn't know how to do it. Son, we weren't the victims. You have nothing to apologize for. So is this... 
Is this where you discovered your father? Yes. This is where I thought I had a beautiful family. Mom, I invited Mary in because I don't think anyone's to blame for my dad's mistakes. Don't think about that anymore. The important thing is that we are together now. What worries me is that baby's going to grow up without a dad and no one deserves that. Yes. But now she has two brothers to take care of her. This story is dedicated to all those women who live a hell in their homes and have to put up with it, either for their family or for their children, since it is something very common and a few of us decide to raise our voices. Never give up, because it's never too late to speak up. No woman deserves to have her freedom taken from her.